go here. Hey guys, so for today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys this pre-op, post-op plastic. This tutorial is completely inspired by Mikey here on YouTube. Her name on YouTube is Glamangor. I'm sure you guys have heard of her. If you guys found this channel, you guys definitely have heard of her. She did a pre-op, post-op Barbie. Since today is October 3rd, I decided to do this pre-op, post-op plastic. Entirely inspired by the movie Mean Girls, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Please remember to hit that like and subscribe button if you guys want to see more of my Halloween tutorials that I'm going to have coming up this month. But yeah, on this beautiful October 3rd, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this tutorial. All right, you guys, so I got my wig on right now. Uh, I have it clipped back, obviously, because I'm going to need to see my face while doing this. So I'm going to start this off with the glam portion. I'm going to be using the NYX Weightless Complete Coverage concealer and honestly you can do your makeup however you want for this I'm just gonna do my makeup how I think someone in the plastics would do their makeup I like the skip foundation so I'm just gonna go ahead and start with concealer a little redness on the sides there cover that up Next, I'm going to go ahead and contour, and I'm going to be using the NYX Contour Palette. This shade in the palette first to contour my cheekbones a little higher than normal, and then I'm going to use this to bronze. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add some blush now. I feel like they would do like kind of a pinky blush like this. So I'm going to mix this pinky blush with this pinky blush. This is the Morphe 9B palette. These are crazy pigmented, so don't go too ham with this. I'm going to go ahead and add the NYX highlight color in that palette as well. Add some highlight to my face. And I feel like the plastics would like heavily highlight now. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this NYX eyeshadow palette and I'm going to grab into a few of these pinkier shades and I'm just going to go ahead and start to do a little bit of eyeshadow. And since today's Wednesday and we wear pink on Wednesdays, I'm going to be doing pink eyeshadow. I'm just going to add this on the outer corner of my crease, nothing too fancy, and I'm just going to blend that out. And then I'm also going to go ahead and highlight using that same palette. I'm going to highlight my brow bone and my inner corners as well. Next, I'm going to grab some lashes, and I feel like they would use some really big, fun, dramatic lashes because they are the plastics after all. So I'm going to be grabbing these Vegas Nay Grand Glamour Lashes. God, I had such a hard time applying these last time I used them, so I'm hoping now it's going to be a little better. God, these are just so freaking heavy on the eyes, you guys. It's the only thing I don't like about them. Once you get them on, though, they're very pretty. It just takes freaking forever to get them on your eyes. And then last, I feel like a plastic would really overdraw their lips, so that's what I'm going to do with the Hank and Henry Petal Pusher Liquid Lipstick. So I think I'm going to start this off. She definitely want like somewhat of an eye lift, I'm thinking, for sure. I'm going to start by doing like lines basically across your eye. You can look up pre-op pictures. This is what it typically looks like. I feel like a plastic would definitely want a forehead lift, so that's what I'm gonna do as well. And that's just basically arrows above your eyebrows. And they would definitely want some rhinoplasty. Definitely gonna want a chin implant as well. And then I feel like they'd also want like a contour lip. And they absolutely, most definitely would want a boob job. And I think that's for the most part what a plastic would want. So now let's get into more of the fun stuff. So I'm going to start this by grabbing a sponge and I'm going to rip off the bottom parts just to make it a little bit more edgy. Next I'm going to be grabbing my Mayron Bruise Palette and I'm going to be dipping into the red shade in the palette and then I'm also going to mix that with the brown shade as well. And let's start bruising. I'm going to start by bruising my under eyes. So I'm going to be taking this really dark blue shade in the bruise palette, and I'm going to add that right in this area. So I feel like that would get the darkest for sure. I'm going to start to do the same thing to the chin area now. I 
pretty much anywhere where we drew those lines. Now I'm just gonna take the brown and the dark blue shade and I'm gonna start to put that down my nose. Cause I feel like whenever I see pictures of that, it looks more just dark, if anything, than red. Just to add in some more bruising. I mean, our bangs are pretty much gonna cover it up so it's not really that big of a deal. And then now the boob job. Add this around my eyes as well cause I feel like your whole eye would be pretty puffy. And then there was one more thing we almost forgot, and that is lip filler. So I'm going to be using third degree now, and I'm going to mix equal parts A to equal parts B, but whatever you do, do not mix them together in these jars because you will ruin the third degree if you do this. So I'm going to grab a separate tub for that. Do not use a brush. Use one of these little spatula things or Q-tips, whatever you have handy. Again, grab equal parts A and then equal parts B, and then mix them together in this little tub, like I'm doing like so. Wait for it to set a little bit, and now I'm just gonna go ahead and add this onto my lips. And that is it, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to like and subscribe if you guys wanna see more of my Halloween tutorials that I'm gonna have coming up this month. Have a great rest of your night or day, wherever you guys may be, and I will see you in my next video. And remember, stay weird, my friends. Bye, you guys.